And that's important, people, because when once you're born of his spirit, you get what is called the liberty of the children of God. And people think they have liberty now. Because we live in Australia, we're not really under a despot or anything like that. We're not under that sort of regime. We have quite a bit of liberty, quite a bit of freedom in Australia, but we're not talking about that sort of freedom. We're talking about the freedom from sin. And people say, well, what does all that mean? What it means is that if you are not born of the Spirit of God, you are a slave to sin. And people don't want to hear that. They say, that's not me. I'm not a slave to sin. Try stopping sinning. Has anybody tried and successfully 100% stop sinning? No. We are all subject to sin. That's why the law was given by God. He gave it to Moses. The law was there as our school teacher, was there to show us that we cannot keep it. The Bible says you break one of the laws, you break the whole law. So there it is. You've broken the law. So we ask a few questions to see whether people sin or not have you how many lies have you told lately people and people say oh i don't lie people stand up sometimes and tell me i don't lie i say when did you last look at a woman with lust in your eyes oh never and the wife standing there looking sideways at him and saying i don't believe you because it's true jesus said you look with lust upon a woman this is talking about a man you look with lust upon a woman you have committed adultery with her in your heart and this the heart is where things happens, people. It's in the heart. You don't you only see the outward actions, the outward words, the outward facade of people, but it's the heart that's important. This is why God says, believe with your heart, confess with your mouth that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, that you will be saved. It's all about the heart. And when we're born of the Spirit of God, something happens in our heart. We are regenerated. Our spirit becomes active. We end up with choices. Choices whether we sin or not. People say, well, is that true? Don't I have a choice now? You might have a form of discipline. There might be circumstances that prevent you from sinning, that stop you from sinning. They might even frustrate you, those circumstances. But in the end, you are subject to sin and unable to to stop sinning when we're born of the Spirit of God we have a choice and the Bible says we walk according to the Spirit and not according to the flesh doesn't mean we don't still sin doesn't mean we're not still tempted sorely probably every day maybe even more because the devil gets angry and he wants to tempt the child of God more but it only strengthens us to walk in the Spirit to stand against sin and to exercise our freedom. So what does that mean? Does it mean we'll never sin again? No. It means that we have the power not to sin again. But we also still have the power to sin. But we choose not to. Sounds a little bit confusing, but it's not. It's very clear. If you're a child of God and you are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, it says in Romans 6, baptized into his death. So when you think of water baptism, we're talking about the baptism in the spirit, but the same principle applies. When you go down to the water, you physically, spiritually die. You come, stay there with Jesus, you are linked with him, and then you rise into the newness of life. So we can walk in the newness of life as Christians, choosing whether we sin or not, choosing whether we walk in the flesh or we walk in the spirit that is freedom freedom is if you have the ability to choose if you're a slave to sin you have no ability to decide to sin or not to sin you just sin to please the flesh now today a bit too complicated we're just going to talk about the gospel jesus christ came to this earth died on the cross took our sin upon himself took the punishment due to us we were storing up wrath for the day of judgment every time we sin with no way of paying it we would have had to pay 
those who are not born of the Spirit of God will pay for sin. Jesus Christ came to take that payment from you to pay the price for you. But you have to receive something from him, his life. So ask him into your life today, people of Burwood. We're here for you. Bless you. God loves you. We're here to pray with people. We've shared a little bit about Jesus. We want to share a lot more individually with people. And they then will ask Jesus into their life and be born of his spirit. So we're going to close off now in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord, Holy Spirit. You are here to change people's lives, to get them safe in the hand of Jesus. It's for every person. In Jesus' name we sign off now. Amen. Amen.